have two words for the end of 2022. No, not those two words, though they have crossed my mind a lot this year. I'm Leslie Dorries, and I am the creator of the Hero Husband Project and owner of Foundations Coaching. And this is the time of the year where a lot of us look back and take a look at what went well and what didn't go so well. And, you know, I'm not exactly a, a lot of person a person for sharing a lot of personal stuff, which the people who help me with my business keep saying, I've got to do that. Um, and that's actually partly what these two words are about, because my two words are grateful and helpless. And I'm grateful for all of the people in my life who have supported me, not just this year, but through every year, first being my husband and my family and my friends. Um, and even my clients and even you who listen to me. Um, it's been a tough year. It's been a good year. For the most part, I don't have anything to complain about. I'm healthy. My husband's healthy. We haven't been impacted too terribly much by a lot of things that have been going on. We kept our heat and stayed warm the last, the last week of the year when a lot of people were not so lucky. Um, but, I, but we actually have had to deal with something real tough, and that's the helpless part. And the helpless part is that my lovely 26 year old daughter was diagnosed with cancer in June and she's been undergoing chemotherapy. And I've got to tell you, she's an adult. She's perfectly capable. She's wonderful. I'm still her mom. And I felt absolutely helpless. Culminating in the day that she called me up and asked me to shave her head. And I got to tell you, one of the hardest things I've ever had to do in my life. Grateful also that she trusted me and wanted me to do it. So I'm ready to kick 2022 to the curb. Um, hopefully her last chemo treatment will be tomorrow, fingers crossed. And she's handled it with grace and strength. And unfortunately the the legacy that I have taught her, which is not to ask for help. And it's very hard for her. It's very hard for me. And it may be hard for a lot of you. And this is where gratitude and grateful comes in, because I know I couldn't have gotten through this by myself. And there are a lot of things that we can't get through by ourselves, but we try. And if you've had a year, no matter good, bad, indifferent, because most of the time years are filled with all three. It's what are you going to do? Um, I've reached out to friends. I couldn't have gotten my book published this year without the help of a lot of people that I needed to ask for help. And that's what this is about. That's what life is about is none of us get through it on our own. And I encourage you not to try. I encourage you to not see asking for help as a sign of weakness, but as a sign of strength. Because it can get really lonely. And there are people who want to help. I don't know if you've been reading the stories about all the people who've been stepping up to help with the craziness at the airports, to help with the crazy snow and cold in Buffalo, to help with all the disasters that happen around the world. And that's the thing. So my wish for you for 2023 is to ask for help and accept it when it's offered. Note to self, something I need to work on. And my resolutions every year are the same, to find more compassion and less judgment. Because those two are enemies of each other. If you're compassionate, you stop judging. Everybody has their own issues. Everybody is has their own challenges and and gifts and joys and despairs. And if we would look at each other as being more the same than different, the compassion 
to understand that people, most people are doing the best they can. And sometimes to do better, they could just use a hand and a loving hand, not a judgmental hand. So as this strange year has come to an end or is coming to an end, I encourage you to find the good, find the good in your marriage, find the good in your partner, find the good in your neighbors. And for me, find the good in the driver who's next to you in the car and change those two words, not the F-U words, but the I care words. So with that, I wish you a wonderful new year and much joy in 2023. And if you follow me, great. Love to hear from you. Love to hear your two words for the year for 2022. Maybe you have some goals for 2023 that you'd like to share because when you share a goal with the public, it kind of gives you an accountability piece. And don't be so hard on yourself or to self on that one. Don't be so hard on other people because we're all just muddling through. And as I said, let me know if I can help in any way. And until next week, next year, stay loving.